Azofieda community in a Bakaliki local government area of Ebony State is a quiet rural settlement fondly known for massive agricultural activities involving cultivation of rice, yam, cassava, cocoyam, various cash crops, planting of economic trees and rearing of domestic animals. All these form the backdrop on which the community has survived before and after the Nigerian Civil War. It is no news that Azofieda community is bordered by several communities in Obubra local government area of Cross River State. For decades, the line separating the people of Azofieda and their counterparts from Bubra could be described as mere formality, as the Azofieda people have on countless occasions extended hands of friendship and gestures of togetherness to those villages from a Bubra local government area of Cross River State. But these irreplaceable, beautiful cohabitation, peaceful living and warm embraces were thrown to the wind on Friday 13th of January 2017 when the inhuman plots of several villages from Ubra came to fruition. In the wee hours of that very cold Hamilton Friday morning, the people of Asofieda community while in the comfort of their homes, sleeping, filled with dreams and plans and activities for the day, were attacked by a consortium of villages of Ofumana Okrude, fondly known as Ekori, Ofonama, Okinboa, Ogamana, Ovrukun, Okwechi, Ofenagama, Eja and Ujitun, all in Obubra local government area of Cross River State. This attack started by 4 a.m. with sporadic shootings from warriors said to have numbered over 500 without enough time for the villagers of Azofieda community to save their lives or properties, they were outnumbered. These heartless attackers were not done yet, this time more horrible. Having raised to the ground the house of one Mr. Mbam Okemini, they entered into his farm stores, brought out 54 bags of rice crops in 300 kg bags each, worth over 23 million naira and set them alight, and as of the 17th of January when we visited, they were still burning. His fresh coconut tree wasn't spared either. 